literally on a pedestal. Like, <laughs> last night we had a show in Olympia and it was... <laughs> Were some of you there? Yeah, hi. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, it was a different from this. This is an amazing space. In Olympia, I was standing on a carpet in a warehouse. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but yeah, it's, it's psychologically different. Um, I'm interested in it scientifically. I think that it would be cool to, yeah, to do a study on that. Um, if anybody's looking for a, a sociology thesis, because sociology degrees are really useful. My mom has one. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Um, so let's play some music. You guys want to know more about my mom? She's a goat farmer. Ha ha ha, it's actually true. Um, she lives in Fairview, North Carolina, which is a small town outside of Asheville, and she has goats, and she makes soap with their milk. Before that, she was... Like, not that. That's what happens when you retire, I guess. You become a goat farmer. It's not, not, not the path I expected for her, but I'm happy for her. Um, watch out for your own moms. You never know when they, like, if they're gonna start getting goats, have them call my mom and be like, is this really, is this hard work? This is really what, I know this is exactly what you signed up for. I'm gonna sing a song right now, instead of this. This song is about a book. I'm getting kind of tired of this. Republication media blitz, you got all of muggle kind under your spell. Oh, don't you know the whole world's already gone and reserved a copy at Amazon? How many more books could you sell? Now give me my book or go to hell. Cause I need Harry Potter like a Randy Love. Approaches my Negroes. Whoa, I see you. Deathly house, incendio, book sales and bargos. It'll be like Phoenix Tears on a broken dust. Yeah, I see you. Deathly house. Well, I'm getting kind of petrified. What would Ron do if Hermione died or if Voldemort killed Hedwig just for young? So I didn't know that was going to happen. I have no confidence in theories about the half. Blood prince and what if Harry's brain is off or crocs? That was also true. Oh, holy crap! That would freaking suck. It actually turned out to be pretty convenient. Cause I need Harry Potter like a Grindy Low needs water. And as that day approaches, my need grows. Whoa, I see you. Deathly house, incendio, book sales, embargoes. It'll be like Phoenix Tears on a broken nose. Yeah, I see you. Deathly house. of J.K. Rowling, I bet it has to do with Snape frankly vowing to protect that pure blood plus space Malfoy. But in the end, I don't think it's gonna matter if Snape's good or if it's bad. It did the weight of the world rests on our boy. Yeah, the weight of the world rests on our boy. Cause we need Harry Potter like a grim love. Sales of harvest, it'll be like Phoenix Tears on a rock and dust. Yeah, I'll see you, Deathly Hallow. But mostly, I'm just feeling sad. I know this could end real bad, but uh, I wish it didn't have to end at all. Sales and barbers, it'll be like Phoenix Tears on a rock and dust. 